would like to see and it was really a tie between hauls and like tutorials and a bunch of other things but I was surprised on how many people actually asked for hauls so today I'm going to haul a bunch of stuff it's definitely a collective haul I have some makeup some clothes and some shoes that I want to show you guys so let's jump on in so I guess we'll start with makeup I have a bag of things here it's not all from Sephora it's from a couple different places shoe let's see first off i got these two elf brushes i have the elf small elf small tapered brush and then also the elf small stippling brush i've liked using both of these for contouring um this one especially with another product that i'll show you guys and then this one is like for powder contouring or even highlight blush Anything like that it's really small super soft and they're only three bucks a piece with it which is awesome so the product that I've really been liking to use with the elf stipple brush is the Anastasia contour kit um, I picked it up when Macy's had like a flash sale it was only 25 bucks for the palette which I thought was awesome and so I got the color medium um, as you can see I mean I have been using it quite a bit I like it a lot for color correcting color correcting and highlighting but for contouring, I don't know if it's the best because as you can see, the colors are very warm. So, you know, usually when you contour your face, you want something more cool toned, more gray toned to really kind of give those shadows. So I've, you know, I've still been gearing towards my actual, the contour powder kit, which if you can see has more like cool, more gray tones as compared to these which are a lot more warm so I've still kind of been preferring the powder one but this one is nice like for the highlighting shades and more of a bronzy effect than a contour and like I said I've really been liking that elf stipple brush for that um also for Anastasia I got the new palette this is the Anastasia shadow couture artist palette I'm sorry world travel world traveler palette um i got this as soon as it launched i actually went to my sephora and i got the last one they had in store so i definitely picked it up right away i've been using it pretty much every day the colors are beautiful i really really love this pink champagne color literally i pretty much got this palette for morocco and pink champagne which might sound kind of crazy but love them let me see swatch pink champagne because it's literally beautiful and I know it's also a single shadow. Look at that, there's like so much glitter in that, I don't know if you can see. So I might even just get the single shadow for that because it's literally stunning. Yeah, I got that. And I really love the like limited edition uh, Anastasia eyeshadow palettes because they're all only like 30 bucks and I think this one has eight different shades in them. Oh, this one has 12 shades in it. So that's a lot of different shades, you know, for 30 bucks. And I think it's definitely worth it compared to like her single shadows, which are super expensive. It's like 40 bucks for like just four single shadows. So I think that's worth it, especially if you just want to like try out new shades and stuff. So like I said, I got that at Sephora and I also got um, from NARS the little like birthday lip kit thing. So there's two of the NARS pencils, one in Corella, which is a matte, like red. It's really pretty. I haven't worn it like on my lips at all yet, but that one's pretty. And then this one in the color Rikugin. I don't know. This one's a satin color though, so it's not as shiny. Or I mean, that is uh, pigmented. It's more of like a balmy type of lip color. But yeah, I really like that Corilla shade. It's a really, really pretty red. Next, I guess we will talk about the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. You know, almost everybody has this highlighter. And I've never really been into highlighting. 
just because I, I have oily skin, so it never seemed like I could highlight, but um, I've been using this and I do like it. It's like the really pretty perfect kind of like champagne gold highlight. So I've been liking that a lot. Just, I mean, wherever you highlight. So I actually picked this up on eBay because I know um, the balm is usually on Hope Look. Not usually, but sometimes on Hope Look for like 50% uh, off. So it's usually only like 12 bucks, but I didn't want to wait for that. So I think I paid like 15 or so on eBay. So check out eBay. Obviously look at a couple different sellers. You don't want to buy like fake makeup products because I know that's really, really dangerous and actually common, but yeah. So that's that. Let's see. I also picked up the Vegas Nay eyelashes in Grand Glamour. I haven't used these yet. I tried putting them on. The band is super, super thick. I was kind of in a rush, so that didn't help. So I haven't worn them yet, but I'm definitely super excited. They're like really, really fluffy and like pretty dramatic, but they're beautiful. So can't wait to try those out. And I have a bunch of stuff that I picked up when NYX had 40% off at Ulta. So first I have like these little blotting papers. Those are always great to have. Um, I picked up two of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Well, I picked up some more, but these are the ones I have in here. London, this one's a backup. It's one of my favorites, like perfect nude. This is actually the nude that I was wearing in that updates video. I know a lot of people were asking about that. So I was wearing that, it's one of my favorites. And then I also picked up Cairo, which is a lot lighter, but still a really, really nice nude. Right there, so it's color combos. Next, I also bought the NYX Matte Lip Cream and, I mean, sorry, NYX Matte Lipstick in Whipped Caviar. I've also worn this, and it's a little darker but they're not as drying as the lip cream. So that's that one right there. And I really like this one also. Um, I also picked up uh, two concealers. I got shade four and shade five. I don't have shade five with me right now. So I also picked up from NYX the white liquid eyeliner. And to be honest, I wasn't really a fan of this because once you put it on your eyes, it is super pigmented, super opaque, but it kind of cracks, which is weird. It's literally a white eyeliner. It's not something I would wear like on a day-to-day -day basis, but I didn't really like this one. It kind of cracks, which is weird. So wouldn't really recommend that one. But next, I have some lip liners. I have two from NYX. I have the colors Natural. There. So that's kind of like the same color as Whipped Caviar. And then I also got Nude Beige. That's that one there. So it's more of like a brown, darker uh, lip liner. And I really love those. They're really nice. But then I also picked up from Essence some of their lip liners. So I have Set and Mob. This one is actually a backup because... I already have it and I really like it. These are super, super creamy. You can wear these all over the lips with like just super easily. That's that one. It's more of like a purple. And then I also picked up, what is this? Cute Pink from Essence. And these are like a buck fifty. So honestly, I always get like one of these. That's a terrible swatch. And I like having the backups, especially when they're in stock, because usually they don't always have them at Ulta. So whenever they do, I always pick them up. So that's the stuff so far. Ugh. I feel like I'm talking so fast. So five more makeup products. I have some Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks and... I picked these up a couple weeks ago also. I ordered them online. I used like one of those crazy promo codes that take like 50% off. So each lipstick was less than 10 bucks, which is pretty great. 
because I wouldn't pay $20 just for one of these. And let's swatch what colors I got. So I have, this one is underground. Underground, which is a really like kind of dark grayish brown color, but I really like that one nonetheless. This one is Rodeo Drive, which is more of like a berry there. I'm swatching with my left hand, so they're not going to be the best swatches. I've used this one a lot already. This is Buttercup. It's like literally the perfect nude with like a darker lip liner. That's that one there. I like that one a lot. Um, what else do we have? I have 1995, which is in collaboration with Jocelyn Hill. And that's definitely more of a brown. And lastly, I have Fire Engine Red. Sorry. It has a lot more red on the lips. It looks kind of pink. It's because of that. <laughs> That's probably the worst swatch in history. But yeah, it's definitely more red, I think, on my lips than what it looks like here. But yeah, those are the five colors I picked up. So I have Underground, uh, Rodeo Drive, Buttercup, 1995, and a Fire Engine. See, there's definitely a theme going on with reds and pinks and browns. Even that, look at that pink champagne. That's so pretty. Also, within the last month, I was able to pick up eight of ah, my babies. Just drop one. Oh, I got a little dancing egg. Anyways, I picked up eight of the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips. I filmed a swatch video on my lips of all the colors, so if you haven't seen that already, I would definitely go recommend going to watch it because they're re-releasing the shades at the beginning of August, so that's coming up and you guys should definitely get your hands on these. So really quickly, I also wanted to get the results for that giveaway I did on my updates video, which was for the Reveal 2 palette. So I have that right here to ship out to whoever the winner is. And I'm actually going to go through all the comments right now and write down everyone's name and literally rip them up, put them in a little bag, mix them up, and pick one out right here on the camera. So let me go through these comments real quick. All right, so I've written down all the names here, there, and I'm going to rip these up. I figured this is literally like the most authentic way to do this. Let me go get some scissors. I'm folding them all up. So there's no way for me to see anybody's name. So I'm going ahead and mix these up. We have all the names in there. And the winner is Brenda Garcia. So Brenda, I'm going to go ahead and contact you to get this palette sent out to you. And for everyone else who entered the giveaway, I'm going to leave all these little papers in here so that for my next giveaway, you will have two entries. You'll already have this one and then however I decide to do the next one, you'll enter that way as well. So, I hope you're really excited to win Brenda, and if she doesn't respond to me within the next few days after I contact her, I will go ahead and pull another winner and contact them. So that is all the makeup that I've picked up probably within like the last month. It's a lot, isn't it? I actually probably picked up more than this to be honest, but it's kind of what I picked out right now. And I think I'm actually going to leave all the clothes and shoes for another video. So if you guys want to see all that, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you're updated when I upload that video. And thank you so much for watching. I recently hit 1,000 subscribers, which is insane because 
like I said, I haven't been able to dedicate as much time to my channel as I would like to, but nonetheless, you guys have been really supportive, and I'm glad that you guys like the content that I've been able to put out for you so far. So thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!